And then storm season rolled around and one of my friends that I'd worked with doing flood, he said, hey, why don't you try this random company? So he sent me the link I applied and they said, hey, we're doing orientation in Gainesville, come on. Okay, so I get there and they had, against their better judgment, hired 40 people, 38 of them were brand new. Brand new. Like Oof. I was experienced and that's terrifying. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. You don't so, have to give your whole life story, so. Okay, I'll <laughs> sum it up. I've, I've told it a few times on my, my podcast, like I was telling you about. Um, so I started out in, I think it was 2020, it was um, Ida. So the summer before Ida, I'd, I'd, I'd had my license for about a year and I was just sitting around feeling sorry for myself. And I was like, you know what? Screw this, I'm gonna try to figure it out. And it, I'd gone on the Facebook pages and they're not always super helpful on there. They're kind of Debbie Downers and oh, it's a tough career to break into, good luck, la-di-da. So I went ahead and I signed up for the Pilot Claims College. I went over to Mobile, Alabama. I spent 10 days over there. I uh, did the Xactimate training. They taught us a little bit about assessing damage, identifying damage, different kinds of shingle types, things like that. Lots of Xactimate training um, kind of prepared us for, uh, it was Blaine Smith was the, the teacher and shout out to him. He's freaking awesome. He's hilarious. I love him. Um, and the first thing he said to us, he walks in and he says, by the way, you guys are all completely insane for wanting to do this. And we're all kind of, huh? You know, what's that mean? <laughs> and That's I, a good way to I start. Get I get it. Yeah. yeah. So it is, it's crazy. It's a crazy job. Um, so I did that. It was really cool. And then I was going into, my plan was to be a flood adjuster from the very jump of it. And so I went over to um, Alexandria, Louisiana, and I took a flood certification to be a mentor, men mentee, not mentor. Um, so I did that. And right after I got back, uh, Ida hit and my team, it was a small company. There was, I think, five of us. They called and they said, all right, start heading to Louisiana and we'll meet you there. So get there and it's it's a cat situation. There's not power, there's no food, there's no ice. And luckily we'd prepared for that. We brought everything with us. And so we went down to, we spent most of the time in Laplace, which is just south of, um, south of Louisiana, New Orleans. And it was, oh gosh, beautiful neighborhood. And it was just three feet of water in every single house, same flood line. And, you know, the more time we spent there, the more the mold was growing. We were starting to wear masks and then we'd have to run in, do an inspection, run out, breathe, go back in. And it, Yikes. it was tough. My, yeah. my teachers were tough. They didn't have a lot of time to work with me and they did the best they could. But in the end, I ended up throwing in the towel and I was like, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I'm not getting the help I need. I'm not getting the training I need. I'm asking you questions. You're getting frustrated with me. And it was really emotional. You know, I'm a, I'm a woman, so everything's emotional. And we were on this little bayou and I'd go sit next to the bayou and just cry. I, I, it's just like, I'm trying so freaking hard. And listen, I there are, stop. there are plenty of grown men who were in their hotel oh. rooms on the floor crying, bawling their eyes out on their first storms. It's, it's not just the woman. Yeah, it's, it was, yeah, it was rough. And you know, I, I went home, I got a job bartending. I spent the year just feeling sorry for myself again. And then storm season rolled around and one of my friends that I'd work with doing flood, he said, hey, why don't you try this random company? So he sent me the link I applied and they said, hey, we're doing orientation in Gainesville. Come on. OK, so I get there and they had, against their better judgment, hired 40 people. 38 of them were brand new, brand new. Like Oof. I was experienced and that's terrifying. <laughs> and so, you know, I'd used Xactimate. I'd, I'd known how to do at least scope floods and write a little bit. And so I was a little bit ahead of the game with that. And that deployment went awesome. It was, the team was great. The support was great. The managers, I still talk to them today and ask them questions when I need to, which is super important to have those connections and make sure you say Merry Christmas to people and stay in touch with them because you're going to need right. them heart for sure. So um, I am still with that company today. I do the majority of my full handle claims with them. And 
it's it's been a love hate relationship for sure. Um, they only work in Florida and Texas, which is a bummer because I would love to get out and do cat in different parts of the country, but I don't quite want to abandon them. And that was one of the questions I'd written in to talk to you about, you know, trying to figure out how I can form a relationship that will work kind of like forever, right. you know, and be able to work with a company and say, okay, well, I'd rather go do some traveling now, but not have to break up with a company to go do it, kind of just shift my path. So I'd like to figure out how to do that. But um, anyway, to sum up my story, so I was, we were down at Ian, they sent me home because I was the only one that could do a few flood claims because it was private flood. And I didn't actually have to work under somebody to do it as long as someone with a flood license was still reviewing my stuff. I guess that's how that works. Um, so I came home, did some claims for Nicole. Um, they took forever because they're flood claims. And then just recently with this storm, luckily everyone else was sitting around hoping for work. The storm hit right in my path anyway, because that those where I run daily claims between Tallahassee and Jacksonville. So I was over there for three and a half weeks going hard every single day at a little tiny five unit hotel with one restaurant in the whole city and good lord but yeah it's been good i've been i've been really busy finally got to take a vacation went and did some hiking on the appalachian trail and now i'm back looking forward to i guess the winter storms now if you want to watch the rest of this episode where i answer other questions ad free as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.